As many New York City strap hangers continue to abide by the unspoken rules of subway ridership. Be alert, but also, you know, mind your business. The latest unprovoked attack, underscoring the fact there are some situations and suspects you simply cannot prepare for. Police say that's exactly what happened to a 61 year old man who was sitting in his seat, minding his own business on board a southbound one train just after 930 Thursday night. Without warning, police say an unidentified suspect walked up to the man and struck him in the head and face with a screwdriver, hopped off the train at the Columbus Circle station stop and ran off. On Friday, we spoke with the victim's cousin. He got punched in the face three times and then got punched on the skull. He's, uh, he's paranoid. The victim is going to survive, but the suspect is still out there. The NYPD does not break down subway assaults between altercations and random unprovoked attacks. But what we can tell you from the department's latest data is that for the time period of January 1st to November 5th, in 2022, there were 1,561 misdemeanor and felony subway assaults compared to 1,814 in 2023. That translates to just over a 16% increase. The MTA telling PIX11 News Friday, quote, this incident was senseless and unacceptable. The NYPD has full cooperation from our transit security camera team, and when the perpetrator is arrested, he should face aggressive prosecution, delivering justice with consequences. I think especially as a woman, you think about it as well, like traveling at night on the subway. If that's something um, you, know, you want to be doing anymore, I think you have to think about that. The NYPD's suspect description is not too detailed. A man who's about 5'9", dark complexion, wearing a black face mask and a black and red hoodie. But again, it's going to be the surveillance video and the surveillance images that will hopefully help detectives make an arrest. We're live at Columbus Circle this evening. Jay Dow, PIX11 News. All right.